You're watching WMAR 2 News. And a good evening. I'm Jamie Costello with your digital news update. Today, Governor Hogan authorized booster shots for 12 to 15 year olds following the FDA. The state is now giving out those shots and you can also get a booster now five months after completing your primary doses of Pfizer vaccine instead of remember the six months. The governor wants the Biden administration to increase the distribution of monoclonal antibodies, expedite the approval of additional rapid tests for public use, and also increase production of COVID-19 antiviral pills, which were recently authorized by the FDA. And new tonight, the president speaking out about the importance of getting vaccinated and the spike of COVID. Uh, president Biden encourages people to get their shots and says those who haven't are part of the problem. Let me be absolutely clear. We have in hand all the vaccines we need to get every American fully vaccinated, including the booster shot. So there's no excuse, no excuse for anyone being unvaccinated. This continues to be a pandemic of the unvaccinated. So we got to make more progress. So far, more than 63% of all people here in this country are fully vaccinated against the virus, and this includes kids as young as five years old. Well, she gave her life for the city and now the city will honor the work that she put in. Today, funeral arrangements were announced for Officer Keona Holly. Officer Holly was sitting in her patrol car last month in Curtis Bay when a gunman came up and shot her. She was on life support for a week and died from her injuries just before Christmas. Public viewings for Officer Holly are scheduled for this Sunday and Monday at the Wiley Funeral Home. Her funeral will be held one week at the Baltimore Convention Center Officers from across the country are expected to be in town for this. The wake will begin at 9 o'clock in the morning. The service will then start at 10 o'clock. Now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And I'm tracking a winter weather advisory in effect starting at 4 a.m. Lingering through the 9 o'clock hour as freezing rain becomes a possibility heading into the morning hours. Temperatures near freezing, warming into the 40s through the afternoon. Lots of cloud cover, southerly flow, and I think we top out near 47 for a daytime high. And then we're tracking dry conditions as we head towards your Thursday. Snow chances, though, trickle in overnight into the start of your Friday. We're dry and cold for Sunday with another chance for showers returning on Sunday. All right, click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMAR2news app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello.